What's going on guys, it's Godspeed here, back for a tutorial video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build a ferris wheel. This comes directly off my latest build, the carnival build. We're here today on Crystal Isles. The only way to build a ferris wheel in this shape in arc is to build it on its side. So to do this, you will need a skiff. Check. Using the skiff, place down a square foundation in the central of the skiff in the central part of the skiff using the markings as a guide snap a staircase then a ceiling snap a pillar to that ceiling go under the skiff and snap a pillar slightly lower than the one you just placed down next take your fence foundation straight as possible on any side of the pillar place a fence foundation horizontal vertical sorry Board the skiff and place it where you would like to build. I'm on Crystal Isles and I'd like to build right here on the edge of the beach. Once you've got your desired location, put your skiff in the landing position. Come under your skiff, take your pillar and we're looking for that sideways snapped glitch point like this. That just did not snap properly. That's attached to the skiff. We need it free from the skiff. Just like that. Now we have that down, we're done with the skiff. Using the sideways pillar, snap some square foundations. Let's place a few down so we have a good foundation support. On the left hand side of these foundations, place down two triangle foundations. We're now going to create the first still of the ferris wheel. In fact, I think we need a tighter angle than that, so let's, um, let's go with squares. So we're going to go eight square ceilings up. That's the first leg of the wheel. Triangle, square, triangle, square, square, <laughs> triangle, square, all the way around. This is going to be the pivot part of the ferris wheel, the axle, uh, whatever you call it. So that's the first leg and the axle of the uh, ferris wheel. So now we're going to come eight square things down and create the second leg. We might need a bit more foundation support. Again, two triangle foundations. It's only letting me snap one down here, so I think I'll use a triangle ceiling for the second one. That's all going to be hidden soon anyway, so it's not going to matter that that's a ceiling and not a foundation. You see how the legs look really flimsy on one, on one width ceiling? We're going to try and box that out now and make it thicker. So place down a wall, another wall to get your snap point, and then copy the pattern of the leg. So triangle and eight square ceilings upwards. Basically what we're doing now is boxing these legs out, making them look thicker. Do this, do this on the other side. A wall, another wall to get your snap point. 
ceiling down, wall up, eight square ceilings. Now take your tech walls and let's box these legs out. Snap points can be a little funny at this angle. By the way guys, I have a couple more tutorials going up this week. One is for a frameless tech tower, the other one's for an Arano spider's web shaped pen. And I have a couple of special ones going up next week too. So if you don't want to miss them, ding that bell. And also if you haven't already, please smash that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Every time I record something, an aeroplane goes straight across my house. Always the way, right? Next, take some tech walls. Place them around the axle. going to thicken this uh, this wheel part up too so let's put some tech walls in the inside to get a ceiling snap point you have to come one or more out so place one more out so now we have a snap point a square triangle square triangle all the way around and then we can go ahead and remove that wall once we're done So now we have a thicker, thicker looking uh, ferris support. Looks a bit better right than that flimsy warm width ceiling. Next take some tech walls, come two out this side, two out that side and continue it all the way around. I actually filmed this when I was building a carnival for a player recently. So I decided to film this part in case I wanted to turn it into a tutorial. So this recording is actually an overlay and I'm talking in past tense. So that may, might make sense when you're watching this. Next we're going to create our struts, so I'm not sure what they're called, come six uh, catwalks down. Basically you want to come down as low as possible without touching the ground. Enough clearance for a car. Six down. Six down. I'm going to speed this up so you guys haven't got to watch me do every one. I'll do them all front and back. Take catwalks on the second notch, make this shape. On the last notch, make this shape and cross them like so. Then take catwalks 
and place them free down into that into that joint free down into that joint I'll speed this up again continue this all the way around front and back Next, take your tech, uh, hatch frame and your hatch doors, place them in the inner part of this uh, circle, all the way around. front and back. Pretty sick. Take some tech walls. Let's tidy this up all the way around, front and back. This really gives it that cog effect right in the middle. I love the way the pattern's offset into the into the middle one. Gives it that turning sort of uh, effect, that cog effect. Take your tech door, trap door, place them in all the slots, front and back. We're going to paint these later. Let's start making our cars on the catwalks. Make two hexagons using triangle glass ceilings, front and back. Join these together with greenhouse walls, all the way around.
same on every catwalk. This can be quite time consuming. Connect them together with greenhouse walls. I'm going to skip ahead because if you know how to build one car, you know how to build 10. So I'm going to clear this bottom area up. I've already switched the motor blocks to block flooring. I'm going to create a little, um, a little exit and entrance area for the, for the ride, for the attraction. Nothing too fancy. Now, the important, important thing to know is on sideways buildings, you cannot snap a regular foundation to a sideways foundation. So if you wanted to put something regular uh, down, you have to manually eye it up. So as straight as possible, place down a square foundation. So that looks pretty straight. Now we have that regular snap point now. Usually I'd go a bit more crazy with this and make a make something real fancy down here, but I'm just gonna make a simple exit and entrance area of a little ticket booth. Switch these to block flooring. Add some staircases front and back. Fence foundations on each corner. This bit doesn't have to be exactly like the way I do it. I'm just making something, something quick. Feel free to make something a bit better than this at the bottom. Put some pillars to add a bit of something something to it some railings it's always a good thing if you've got something you want to spice up pillars of pillars and railings are always the one Right, there you go, a little exit and entrance way. Nothing too special, but adds a little something, something to it. I wanna make a small ticket booth. For now, I'm just gonna make something basic. Let's put, put a table behind here and a training dummy. So there you have it, that's the bare bones. 
of the uh, Ferris wheel. I'm going to skip ahead now and paint it my style. So I painted the catwalks yellow and purple. Added tech lights on the on the main runs of the uh, catwalks. I've painted the hatch doors. I've painted the uh, Ferris wheel cars. You guys obviously can uh, customize this to your taste. Once I recorded this video, I added um, a roller coaster behind this and a uh, helter skelter and like a little pier, sort of like a Coney Island sort of build. But today's video is just the Ferris wheel. Pretty unique, right, for Ark. I'm hoping this helps you guys out and you find it inspiring. I would love to see pics if any of you uh, copy this. If you haven't already, like I said, please uh, consider smashing that like button and subscribing to my channel. But until next time, guys, this is Godspeed. Out. Laters.